And then find a comfortable seat. And that can also be in a chair or having some props under your hips for a little elevation. Mm. Well, I'm really grateful to be with all of you this afternoon and just being able to just guide you through some really great grounding and clearing and relaxation practices that I personally have found very helpful on all levels in not only recovery from uh, my recent surgery, but just in this last year of navigating all that we have been navigating. And um, what I have found with some of these practices, especially with the yoga nidra relaxation practice, is that it really helps me to reconnect with my center and it helps to calm the mind and relax the body. And it accesses the alpha brain waves that are the waves that we access in between like deep sleep and being fully awake. So meditation takes us there, chanting can take us there, our yoga practice can just that in between place where there's a level of awareness. Um, that's where we get to really access our true self, we get to release the noise, the old programming, whatever's just kind of running our subconscious mind and turn it around so that it's more in an open, clear channel for us to navigate life from our center. So we'll begin centering ourselves in a comfortable seated posture. So I invite you to close your eyes. Take a couple of deep breaths here in through your nose and then out through your mouth. Let's just do that a few times. Just using the exhale to release, using the inhale to draw in nourishment. <sighs> Settling your hips into the earth as if you are growing roots all the way down to the center of the earth. And imagine light filling up the roots that are deep down into the earth. And imagine now as you breathe in that you're drawing that light, that nourishment from the earth up through your root system, up through your spine, your body, just filling you up with this sense of nourishment and groundedness. And as you exhale, you can just release that light all the way around your body. Again, inhale, drawing nourishment up your roots through your spine to the top of your head. And as you exhale, let that light of nourishment just encompass your whole body front to back and side to side. We've been in this winter time of growing our roots down deep and conserving energy for the springtime when the sprouts start to rise. And we're starting to turn that corner where energy and the roots are starting to move up. The roots are coming up further toward the surface. They're not quite there yet. The sprouts aren't there yet, but it's getting that upward movement. The nourishment's going up just like through our spine. Let's take one more breath using this visualization.
And then you can return to your natural breath. Let's place one hand on the forehead and the other hand, one or two fingers in the notch of your throat, right under your Adam's apple. There's like a little hollow right there. We're gonna hold these points as we take five deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Calming and rebalancing the nervous system. And just helping us to just settle into our bodies this afternoon. One more time. And then you can just slowly release your hands, rub the palms together and then just shake off your hands toward the ground. And find your fingers now up onto your collarbones, <clears throat> right toward the knobs of the collarbones. You'll drop down an inch below into the hollows here. And we're going to begin our energy medicine yoga wake up practice, which helps to move energy through the meridians, through the chakras, through our auric field. And so with this practice, you can just start to massage in these points. We're going to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth, stimulating this kidney 27 meridian point, which there are also um, all the meridians run through this exact point here. And so as we massage, or you can also begin to tap on your skin. We're going to help energy flow forward through our meridians, clearing them of any blocks so that all the systems of our body are just working really well, helping us to reset. One more breath, massaging or tapping. Come now to the center of your sternum bone, right at the center of your chest. One or two hands you can use to tap here or massage here on your thymus gland. This is a direct entry into our immune system. So when we stimulate this point, it stops any cold or flu in its tracks, viruses, bacteria. So continue to breathe in through the nose and out through your mouth. As I do this, I like to imagine there's a shield of light that's like protecting my whole body. That's my immune system. It's there to be resilient and strong. Let's take one more breath here, sending that love to our immune system. Place your fingers now on the sides of your low ribs, right where your bra line is and begin to tap or massage here on your spleen points. The meridian points are very tiny, so you don't need to know the exact place. You'll be covering lots of surface area here and you are assured to uh, nail that spot. If it is really sore, you know that that's a good place for you to be. <laughs> All right, one more breath. Ah, good, let's just shake off the hands toward the ground, release that excess energy. And then we'll find our fingers up on our cheekbones directly under the pupils. Tap here and do a little bit lighter tapping than you maybe just were. Stimulating your stomach meridian. Sending grounding energy down through your body, connecting you into your body, settling your energy down into the earth. One more breath. Good, you can pause. We'll rub our hands together and then just shake the hands off toward the ground. 
Relax your hands down on your thighs and close your eyes. Begin to just observe what you're feeling in your body as you pause here in stillness. Relaxing the shoulders, the hips, but without collapsing the spine. Noticing pulsation, vibration, heat, tingling. And now we're going to continue to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth as we slowly tap our hand on our thigh on the same side of our hand in this homolateral pattern. And then we're gonna pause, we're gonna shake off our hands and then cross over opposite hand to opposite thigh. Coming into this crossover pattern which is the way that the energies of our body want to travel in. It wakes up both sides of our brain so that they're communicating to both sides of the body and it opens up our body to 100% capacity to heal and reset itself. One more breath. Slowly come to a pause. Place your hands in front of your hips, off of your skin. And take a moment here to bring to mind your sankalpa, which is just a Sanskrit word for a positive affirmation or intention, vow, whatever you would like to call in right now into your life, into your body. It could be simply a word, peace. It could be, I am open. Allow it to just bubble up from inside of you instead of going into your mind to think about it. And now we'll take that intention and you're going to inhale and sweep your hands up the midline of your body. Turn your hands out at your mouth. Exhale your arms up overhead, sweeping them down the sides of your body and right back to your hips. Three more times at your pace. Sending this intention into your energy field, the space that fills around you, as well as sending it into your life so that it is embodied. Now, You'll hook it all up by bringing your middle fingers, one into your navel, one onto your third eye. Press in and pull up on these two points and take three deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth, aligning you back to your center back home into yourself and into your body. Now you can release your hands, rub your palms together and then shake off your hands toward the ground. Hmm, let's take our hands onto our shoulders we're just do some nice shoulder rolls. 
So on your inhale, your elbows will reach up and circle back behind you as you exhale your breath. Inhaling the elbows up, root your hips. Exhale, rolling the elbows back. For the rest of our practice, we'll breathe in and out through our nose, but anytime you feel like you need to exhale through the mouth, feel free to. All right, let's pause and we'll switch directions. It's going nice and slow to get full rotation into our shoulder joints. One more time. Good, now we're going to take our hands behind our back and take a hand clasp. As you root your hips and legs, straighten your arms behind your body and lift up through your chest. Breathe, I'll show you the side view here. We're going to pulse a little bit here. So we're going to inhale, let the arms straighten, lift the chest, shoulder blades melt together. Exhale, release the arms back toward the body. Inhale to lift, open your lungs. Exhale, release back toward your back. Three more times. Lift the wings opening your heart one more time. Good, and just give your shoulders a little bit of shake. And let's take our right hand onto the mat or onto a block if you're sitting up a little bit higher. Your left arm is going to reach up toward the sky. Root your left hip down, stretch any amount more toward the sky as you breathe. And then take the arm over your head to the right into this gentle side bend. Pulsing, coming out of the stretch on your inhale. On your exhale, going into it a little deeper. This is how I invite you to ease into your body this afternoon. With lots of care, gentleness, and respect. And then explore the deeper side bend for a couple breaths. And when you're ready, Slowly come on up. Left hand on the mat or the block. Right arm reaches up. Right sitting bone roots down, lengthen through your rib cage, reach toward the sky. Take a couple breaths here. And then beginning to take the top arm over to the left. Pulsing here, inhale, come out of the side bend. Exhale, go in a little deeper. And then come into the side bend for a couple breaths. Breathe into those sticky spots in the right side. And then slowly bring your arm back down. We're just gonna take a gentle twist to the right. So hi, Sophie, welcome. You can just take a little less deep of a twist, just a nice gentle to the right twist. Right fingers on the floor behind you, left hand on the outer right thigh. Inhale, lifting your heart. Exhale, draw your low ribs to the right. Send your breath into your back. Shoulders relaxed. A little smile lighting up your lips. One more deep belly breath. 
Exhaling, come back to your center. Second side, left hand on the floor, right hand on the outer left thigh. On your next inhale, root your hips, lift your chest. Exhale, draw your low ribs to your left. Aligning your chin over the altar of your heart. Breathing spaciously into your back. Inhale and exhale, unwind back to center. Go ahead and just unwind your legs, stretch them out, give them a little shake out. We're gonna sit for a little bit longer as we do our self massage. So if you do have a lotion or oil nearby you to use, great. And if you don't, no worries, just kind of a nice add on to the massage. And to begin, you can come back and sit cross-legged, but have your opposite leg on top just to switch the legs. You could also come and sit in cobbler pose if that's comfortable. We're going to begin with um, clearing the gates of our hands and our feet. And this is a way to clear the lymphatic system of toxins that are being held in our hands and feet and through the meridians. It also is a good way to clear um, specifically the liver. So it's really helpful with that. So we're going to take a little bit of lotion and oil. And as you know, a little bit goes a long way. So I don't need much. Let's take it onto our hands. We'll start with our left hand and you'll bring your palm up so you can see your palm. And we're going to massage from the heel of the hand in between each long bone of the fingers. So starting between the pinky and the fourth finger, you're just gonna press in and push that lymphatic fluid, any toxins, you'll know you hit toxins because it's sore. And you're just going to press them out and then pinch off between the gully that point in between the fingers. And then you'll go down the next set, the middle finger and the fourth finger, pressing in, pushing toward the gully and then pinching off. So once again, that gully is that little spot between each finger, a little lip there. That's where we're gonna clear it into our lymphatic system to be taken out of the body. So you'll do that in between each finger and your breathing. So don't forget to breathe. <laughs> I know I do and I'm doing something maybe I haven't done before, I'm learning. And then go down in between the thumb and the pointer finger and pinch off the gully. And then just shake off your right hand. So this is such a great practice if you have um, deal with arthritis, any joint pain in your hands, you work with your hands a lot. Okay, so now we're going to come down each finger starting with the pinky finger and we're gonna massage down the finger and then pinch off the top of the finger activating the meridian. So this we're activating the heart and small intestine meridian when we do that. Fourth finger, massaging down and pinching off. You can do it a couple times, do it a few times just to feel it. And now we're activating our triple warmer meridian, which is important to our balancing of our nervous system. The middle finger, pericardium, covering of the heart, circulation. And now the pointer finger, or index finger, tippy, uh, pinching off the top, there's the word, large intestine. And now the thumb, which governs the lung meridian. Lung one starts on this. And then release, give the hand a little shake. 
I like to look at my hands now to notice if that left hand feels a lot more spacious than my right hand. So go ahead and just see, definitely opens up the hand. And now we're going to take our middle finger, bend it and have the tip of the finger wherever it lands, kind of near the heel of your hand where it lands naturally. This is pericardium eight. So it's acupuncture point and we're gonna massage this point. So use your other hand and use the thumb that works for you or any other finger and just give a little massage. If you kind of massage around, you'll probably feel a little soreness that'll guide you. <laughs> it's kind of a sore point I have found. So as you breathe, we help to open up, clear this channel. So eventually, hopefully it won't be a sore. So this is a good point to um, calm disruptive emotions. So if you just feel like your the emotions are kind of getting beyond you, we'll say. This is a good point to massage, pulse, and kind of pulse in and out. Let's take one more breath here and you can just do it as long as until you start to feel a little bit of a shift or you feel complete and trust your body's wisdom with that. Okay. Good. Let's rub our hands together, shake off our hands, and now we'll come to the right hand, turn your palm up. We'll do the same thing we just did. Coming near the heel of the hand in between each long bone, starting between the pinky and the fourth finger. Press and push, so just like you're pushing those excess toxins and any stuck energy out into that gully, into the lymphatic system. And if you do find an exceptionally sore spot, feel free to massage on that for a little bit before you clear the gates. Such a great practice to do if you're watching your evening program, you just wanna give yourself a little bit of extra love and to release the energy of the day. Okay, you've come down in between each gully, kind of give your hand a little shake out. And now you'll come down the pinky finger, massage down, pinch off the top, heart, small intestine. Fourth finger, that triple warmer, nervous system, pinching off the top, middle finger, pericardium, pointer finger, large intestine, and eventually the thumb, lung. Good, rub your hands together, shake them off. And just to show you that point on the right hand, you don't have to do both sides, but I'll, you know, you can just see maybe you like to do on the right hand, find that pericardium eight point again on the right hand, give that a little massage. All right, so now let's come to our feet. So you'll need access to the top of your feet. So if you can bend your knees and bring your feet near you, you could sit in a chair for this and just access one foot at a time. And if you need a little bit more oil, go ahead and grab that or lotion. So we'll do the same thing now, clearing the gates of our feet. And we'll start with our left foot. So we're just going to find that gully between the pinky toe and the fourth toe. Let's just go two to three inches away from it. So we don't need to start by the ankle bone, just a couple inches. And you're just gonna press in. And I promise you there will be at least one of these points that you'll remember forever. <laughs> it might be really spicy. And if you do breathe, press in a little deeper and move that stuck energy out. We do we can move that energy. It doesn't have to be that way forever. So you're gonna press and then you're going to come to that goalie and pinch off on both sides. And then again, go to the next space between the long bone of the fourth toe and the third toe. Breathe, pinch off the goalie. And 
then when you're done in between each toe, come to the pinky toe, massage down the pinky toe. This is the gallbladder meridian, pinch off the top. And then we have the bladder next to it, fourth toe. The third toe does not have a meridian directly on it, but it connects to the kidney meridian, which we'll come to in a moment on the bottom of the foot. The second toe is the, I believe it's the end, yeah, it's the end of the stomach meridian. And then the big toe houses both our liver and spleen meridians. So kind of give a nice little massage on both sides of the toenail and then just pinch off, release, shake out the hand. Let's go to the other side now, right foot. Coming in between the pinky toe and the fourth toe on the top of the foot, breathe. Pinch off between the gully. This is an excellent way to feel grounded. Feeling ungrounded, clear the gates of your hands and feet. You only have time to do the feet, just do the feet then. And you can do this even more quickly than how we're doing right now. I'm, it's kind of nice to slow down when you can really enjoy it, but just to help you open up, this is a nice way. Okay, and then we'll come down each toe, massage down the toe, pinch off the top, activating those meridians. Good. rub the hands together, shake off the hands. And now we'll let our feet um, or our, knee, our knees relax apart. So we have access to the bottom of our feet. So if you need to put blocks or um, pillows or anything under your knees, kind of like a loose cobbler, we're going to pulse on the kidney one point. So if you look down you on both, we're gonna do both feet using both of our thumbs. Find the third toe on each foot, slide down the toe over the ball of the foot and come right to the crease where when you flex your toes this way, there's that crease that kind of turns white. So it's right directly under that third toe. And if you press your thumbs in there a few times, You'll kind of feel, I'll just show you. Kidney one, third toe right here. Then you're going to pulse, pulse this point. And this is considered the wellspring of life, this point. So you've probably heard or you've experienced benefits of standing on the earth with our bare feet when we can, which usually there's a lot of snow on the Tetons right now. But this is a point, even with the snow, you don't need to go stand out in it. You can just pulse your kidney one point and that just helps to bring that nourishing grounding energy from the element of the earth into the body. <sighs> Opening the gateway to receive nourishment. Let's take a couple more breaths here, pulsing. Good, and then you can release. Rub the hands together, shake off the hands. Draw your knees together, stretch your legs out and give your legs a little bit of a shake. So there's our self massage. Hopefully that felt really good to you. Okay, we're going to come into just a little bit of some hip opening, knee opening before we get into our first restorative pose. I don't know about you all, but my low back is speaking to me today. So we're gonna be doing some poses to support that. So we're gonna bring our hand, come onto our hands and knees. And if you need a little padding under the knees, go ahead and set that up. 
We're going to spread our hands wide on the mat. So you should feel and go ahead, just feel into them how wide they feel. Walk your hands out further than your shoulders. And then come onto the tops of your toes. We're going to do a nice gentle hip flow here, putting, excuse me, putting a tone in the low belly. Inhale, shift your hips forward, shoulders over your wrists, open your chest, all fours. As you exhale, release your hips back and down, child's pose. Your head does not need to come and rest on the mat because we're gonna flow a little bit here. Inhaling, hips forward, all fours. Exhaling, hips back and down toward your heels, child's pose. Three more times with your breath. Releasing your front groins in all fours and then stretching into your back in child's pose, all helping to loosen up low back tension. And then when you come back into child's pose, your hips can stay elevated above your knees if that's more comfortable for you or let them go back further. You can rest your head on a block with your hands stacked on top of it or omit the block and rest your forehead on your stacked hands on the mat. Knees are separated wide enough that feel comfortable for you and then breathe space into your low back. And then slowly come on up. Okay, we're going to come into a reclined cobbler pose. So your bolster will be behind you the long ways. If you would like more head support, you can always prop one end of your bolster with a block. I'm just gonna, you know, I like to give you a lot of options. So whatever props you have, if you don't have a block or that doesn't work, you know, take a pillow or a folded blanket and bring it to one end of the bolster. I'm going to demonstrate using a blanket as support for the hips. So you're going to take your blanket wide and roll it tightly like a long snake. When you come to sit in front of your bolster, the soles of the feet come together. The blanket roll goes over your ankles and under your thighs like a little nest. And then you'll slowly lie back onto your bolster. So once again, make sure you have enough head support so you can be here comfortably for a few minutes and energy can flow down from your forehead, chin and down your body so you can breathe easily. can put pillows under your knees or blocks, anything else if you don't have this set up. If you'd like to use your eye pillow, this is a good one for that. Just finding your most supportive and comfortable position. Melt your spine into your bolster. Relax the muscles of your jaw. Allow the backs of your hands to rest on the floor. And if you'd like a little bit more opening in your chest and shoulders, the arms can come more out to your sides and line with your shoulders. And then I'd like to invite you into a practice of Nadi Shodhana or alternate nostril breathing. We're going to do it mentally without the use of our fingers. 
And this is a way to bring balance to all the chakras, the, all the energy centers of the body, as well as balance your nervous system if it's been a little bit out of balance. And so just take a couple of slow, steady breaths here through both sides of your nostrils. And then bring awareness to your right nostril. And on your next inhale, breathe up your right side, up to your third eye. Pause at the top of your breath and exhale slowly down the left nostril. Pausing at the bottom of the breath. Inhaling, breathe up the left side to your third eye. Exhale, breathe down your right side. Continue to breathe up the side that you just breathed out of. And to assist you with this breath, you can bring in an image of light traveling through your breath. Whatever color comes to mind. And the next time you breathe out your right side, you can release the technique and breathe freely through both nostrils. Noticing how that made you feel. And we'll continue to relax here for a few more minutes. Focus on the pulsation of your breath. Staying present and aware as you relax. Noticing sensations, feelings, thoughts from a witness place an observer.
And keep letting go in your body. Take a deep breath in and a slow breath out. Place your hands on your thighs and slowly draw your knees back together. And then stretch one leg out at a time onto the mat. If your arms lost that T shape, Bring them back up a little bit so you're getting that heart and shoulder stretch. Let's relax here for a minute or so. Relaxing consciously the fronts of your hips and your thighs. And then on your next inhale, slowly bring your arms up above your shoulders and then let them move over your head as you flex your feet, stretching your fingers away from your feet, breathing and opening up your body for three breaths here. Feet are flexed as if you were pressing into a wall. And then take a hold of your left wrist and gently stretch your arm away from your left heel. And then guide your right, or excuse me, guide your arm over to the right for a little bit deeper of a side bend making sure you're not falling off your props so I don't go too deep. Breathe into the sticky spots. And then come back to center, switch wrist, take a hold of your right wrist, reach your heels away from you, stretch the arm away from your right hip bone. Guide the arm overhead to the left. And then stretch the arms back. Take a full body stretch. This time point your toes. And then slowly bend your knees. Place your feet on the mat. Mindfully roll onto your side into fetal pose. And if you want to lie on your side on the bolster, that's fine too. Otherwise come to the floor, rest your head and relax your front body toward the ground. And then slowly press yourself back up. Our next pose is supported child's pose. Some of you might like to place 
your blocks under your bolster or pillows if you don't have blocks to give you more height. <clears throat> That's if you know your knees or hips are a little bit tighter. And then the blanket you can take back into kind of this fold and then roll it with the fringes away from you. And this can go behind your knees. So I'm just showing you the most supported position. You're, you're on all fours. The knees come apart, the big toes come together. If you rest your head on your bolster, you can slide the blanket roll in between the knees and then let your hips softly move back toward the heels. Your props are going to come underneath your belly, chest, and head. Turning your head to either side. Turning your head to either side and resting on the ridges of your ear. If that's not comfortable, stack your hands on top of each other. Rest your forehead on your hands. So just letting your props come up to meet you where your body needs support. Fully releasing your hips toward your heels, your front body into your props. Feeling the spaciousness of your breath as it fills up your low back as you breathe in. Mid back and even upper back. And then as you exhale, you feel that release deeper into your props. In this pose of surrender, of letting go. And then keep letting go in your body. Where are you holding tension? Where in your body is asking for more space? If your head is turned to one side, turn it to the other side to clear the neck, if that feels good to you.
Take a deep breath in and a slow breath out. And when you feel ready to slowly transition yourself back up, removing the knee roll if you were using it, coming to all fours here, let's just take a few nice gentle cat-cow poses, just moving the spine slowly with your breath. And then taking your cat cow in side to side undulations. And then switching directions. And then come to a pause. Send your hips back toward your heels any amount as you press into the backs of your toes. Walk your hands out, come onto your fingertips, puppy pose. Your bolster is here to support your head. Walking your fingers out as your back begins to release more and more with each breath. Armpits lifting toward the sky. One more deep breath. And then slowly come on up. Okay, we're going to get set up for our yoga nidra practice, which is a guided relaxation. And you just want to be as comfortable as you can. So set up in Shavasana like you normally would um, with the head and neck support, a bolster under your knees, a blanket over your body, especially if you're feeling at all cool right now, because we are going to be relaxing and you'll cool off more. So make sure you have layers, an eye pillow of some sort, really helpful for guiding your awareness inward and to relax the mind and remove the external stimulation from the eyes. <clears throat> so go ahead and just set yourself up. There are many benefits of yoga nidra. I'll highlight one of them, which is that one hour of yoga nidra practice equals four hours of deep natural sleep. We won't be practicing for an hour. It'll probably be more like 25 minutes, but just know that you're receiving a good amount of deep rest. Yoga nidra practice transports you through different states of consciousness in a way that allows your body to replenish and rest and that allows personal transformation. Although yoga nidra literally means yogic sleep, it is in fact an awakening a method of relaxing that brings you closer to your authentic self. You are about to practice yoga nidra, a deep and relaxing meditation experience that will allow you to let go of distractions and worries and connect with your deeper self. As you 
Lie down and relax in this comfortable position on the floor or a bed. Have your palms facing up and your feet falling gently out to the side. Position your head comfortably with your head and neck in a neutral position with your forehead slightly higher or level than your chin. Feel free to place a blanket under your head or a bolster under your knees, whatever you need to feel very comfortable and at ease in this relaxed posture. Now please soften and close your eyes and allow your body to slowly relax and settle into the posture. Come to a place of stillness and try to remain still throughout the entire practice. If you notice discomfort anywhere in your body at any time, first observe. If it continues to bother you, make any necessary adjustment and then come back to a place of stillness as soon as possible. Take a deep breath and as you exhale, let go of all worries and distracting thoughts. Allow your mind to relax completely. Follow the sound of my voice throughout the practice, remaining awake and aware. Now allow the sound and the easy rhythm of your breath to further relax your body. Allow each breath to flow through you like a rolling sea wave. Observe sounds outside and inside the room. Noticing them without finding any of them disturbing. Feel awareness of your body from the crown of your head to the tips of your toes. Mentally repeat the mantra OM, noticing stillness in your body and awareness in your mind of your whole body. Again, say to yourself, OM, keeping your awareness on your whole body, your whole body on the floor, relaxing. Become aware that you are going to practice yoga nidra. Say to yourself, I am aware and I'm going to practice yoga nidra. Repeat this to yourself again. I am aware and I am going to practice yoga nidra. The practice of yoga nidra begins now. Now is the time to state your sankalpa, a concise vow, intention, or affirmation stated to yourself in the present tense. Repeat your sankalpa in your mind three times with full awareness, sincerity, and faith. If you do not yet have an affirmation you are working with, simply say to yourself, I am opening myself up to learning more about my deepest self. I am opening myself up 
to learning more about my deepest self. Now we will begin a rotation of consciousness experience. You will transfer your awareness swiftly to different parts of your physical body while remaining still. Allow your mind to quickly transition from part to part. Please stay alert but do not strain to follow my script. This should be a relaxing journey through the different parts of your body. Think of the part of the body or see it in your mind's eye, whichever you find easier, but make sure not to actually move the part of your body being mentioned. Become aware of your right hand. Now draw your awareness to your right hand thumb. Second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, palm, back of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, right side of the body, waist, hip, right thigh, knee, lower leg, ankle, heel, sole of the right foot, top of the right foot, big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Become aware of your left hand. Left hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, palm, back of the hand, left wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, left side of the body, waist, hip, left thigh, knee, lower leg, ankle, heel, sole of the left foot, top of the left foot, big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Moving on to the back of your body. Become aware of the right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, right glutes, left glutes, 
the whole of your spine and back together. Move to the front of your body. Draw your awareness to the top of your head. Then move to your right temple, left temple, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, eyebrow center point, right eye and eyelid, left eye and eyelid, right cheek, left cheek, right nostril, left nostril, upper lip, lower lip, chin, throat, right side of the chest, left side of the chest, middle of the chest, navel, abdomen, pelvis, pelvic floor, the whole of the right leg, the whole of the left leg, both legs together, the whole right arm, the whole left arm, both arms together, the whole back of the body, the whole front of the body. Feel the whole body together on the floor, remaining awake and aware. Feel your whole physical body resting, completely still and relaxed, softening, and sinking. Visualize your whole body relaxed and resting on the earth. Return your awareness to your breath. Feel the gentle rise and fall of your chest, rib cage and abdomen with each slow breath and feel the nourishing energy of the breath flowing through you. Visualize the front of your body and the space between your navel and throat. Begin to visualize your breath rising from your navel to your throat with each inhale and slowly descending with each exhale. Now listen to the soft sound of your breath and how it sounds like the mantra, so hum. You can hear the so sound when you inhale and the hum sound when you release your breath. Hear your so hum breath and feel it moving through you easily without effort. Now 
Now let go of your concentration on the mantra and continue to visualize your breath rising from your navel to your throat. Begin to count your breath, descending from 10 to one. Inhale, breath rising, 10. Exhale, breath descending, 10. Inhale, breath rising, 9. Exhale, breath descending, 9. Continue on with your breathing, maintaining awareness. If you lose track of your counting, begin again at 10. If you finish counting to one before I give further instructions, simply go back to 10 again and begin counting a second time. Now cease the practice of counting. <coughs> Moving into an awareness of sensations in the body. Awaken the sensation of heat in your body. You are outside on a scorching, hot, sunny day. Feel the sweat running down your body. Feel the intense heat on your skin. Even your clothes are so hot from the blazing sun, they seem to scorch your skin. Now allow the sensation of heat to fade away. Experience the sensation of intense cold. Imagine you are standing in the snow in your swimsuit with no shoes on your feet. Visualize the goosebumps rising on your skin your whole body shivering. Now allow the sensation of cold to fade away. Awaken the sensation of being wet you are walking outside in a jungle during a torrential rain. Water is dripping from your hair. Your drenched clothes are sticking to your skin. Now allow this wet sensation to dissipate. Experience the sensation of being dry. You are standing outside in the Atacama Desert in Chile, the most arid desert in the world. Your skin feels parched and tingles from lack of moisture. Your throat feels like sandpaper, craving even a single drop of water.
Now allow the sensation of intense dryness to leave you. Concentrate on the space in front of your closed eyelids. In this space, begin to notice the screen of the mind we call Chidikasha. This space extends as high and wide and distant as the eye can see. Concentrate on this mind screen and become aware of any colors, patterns, or light you may see. Whatever you see manifested by your mind, continue to be aware of this space but do not become involved. Practice detached awareness only. Now intensify your imagination and allow yourself to take this journey with me. Imagine you are at your favorite beach, walking along the shore. The sun is rising, illuminating brilliant shades of pink and orange in the clouds. You can feel the breath of the sea breeze tickling your skin. Smell the salt in the air and feel the squeeze of sand between your toes. You can hear the sound of gentle waves rolling onto the sand. You look out over the endless expanse of blue-green water and notice a pod of dolphins swimming close to the shore where you are walking. You stop to watch them. You see one arc up out of the water and then dive down so gracefully, its two-pronged tail the last thing to disappear beneath the surface of the water. Another dolphin jumps up even higher doing a flip in the air before entering the water, nose first without making a splash. You see two dolphins chasing each other. They zoom through the water so fast that they produce wakes on the nearly flat water. You smile as you observe the dolphins playing. You flash back to when you were a child. Back in those youthful days, you would skip or run or dance to a favorite song or turn a cartwheel in the grass but you don't do those things anymore because there are too many serious things to do and you are expected to act like an adult. But you glance around and notice the beach is deserted. A laugh escapes your lips. You find yourself skipping through the sand and the shallows along the shore watching the seawater splash all around you. You allow this playful feeling to wash over you like another wave. You break into a run watching for a flat spot in the sand. 
Then you rotate downward, placing your hands onto the sand and feeling your legs fly over your head as you execute a cartwheel. The years seem to drop away. You feel happy and full of joy. Like an innocent child, you feel so free. You raise your arms in the air and twirl around, inhaling a breath of life that has never felt so renewing. Now allow these images to slowly fade away. Come back to your Sankalpa intention and repeat it to yourself three times with full awareness, sincerity and faith. Now return your attention to the rhythm and soft sound of your natural breath. Feeling its flow in and out of the nostrils. As you maintain your awareness of your slow, easy breath, develop your awareness of your state of physical relaxation. Notice your whole body resting on the floor. Notice the parts of your body that are touching the floor. Begin to notice sounds outside the room. Notice sounds inside the room. Visualize the floor, the windows and the walls and ceiling in the room where you are lying. Slowly start to do some slow movements. Eventually stretching your arms up over your head as you point your toes for a full body stretch. Eventually rolling over onto your right side and enjoying at least five deep breaths. Take your time. Allow your head to rise up last as you slowly press yourself up into a comfortable seated position and the practice of yoga nidra is now complete. Once you arrive seated again, let's place our hands together in Anjali Mudra, prayer pose. Connect your thumbs to your chest. Feel the pulsation of your heartbeat. Notice how you are feeling. And now bring to mind one thing that you are grateful for. And let that bubble up into your heart and fill your whole body with that sense of gratitude even letting the smile light up your lips. And let's close our practice with the sound of one OM together. You can do it out loud, you can do it mentally. 
Well, let's send us love and gratitude out into the world today. Let's take a deep breath in together. Thank you for practicing today. Namaste.